So DMR, obviously, it's really, a, like Virk has said, it's really a historic relay for the Stonehill program. Uh, past few years haven't really gone that way. For me, I think it comes more from having such a young team. But now that we're starting to develop more, and we're, all these young guys are now juniors and seniors, and we have experience at, in competing at these high levels, it's really giving us the confidence to go out and just have a great race time and time again. And so the reason why I think we're being able to be consistent with putting in, down a really solid relay is just really coming from that extra experience that we've had from just being a year older, year wiser, year stronger. So I think that's playing a really big role. Um, and just we've been hearing our entire time here about how big the DMR is to the Stonehill program and how we've had all Americans made in this relay. So when you're constantly hearing that, it kind of becomes elevated in your mind. And so each time you're part of that DMR relay, you know that this is a very intentful race. This is a race that I'm really gonna have to zone in on and make sure that I'm giving it every single thing I got. I have always been someone that loves starting out a relay. Uh, the energy is always really high. The intensity is very high. Um, you always have people around you, which is definitely a big benefit to you. Sometimes in a relay, if you're the last or third leg, you can kind of be lost in space and then you don't have other guys which you can work off their energy. So 1200, I just went out with the intent that I have to get us into a good position. Um, my goal was to get right around where I ended up with like a 302 split. I don't think that's as fast as I can go. I think I can take a couple seconds off that towards the end of the season, but for where we are in the season, I was very happy with how it turned out. Um, as far as everyone else goes, I think we really have to hand it to Luke on this one. We were really able to smash what our goal was going into the meet because he was able to put down such a break through performance with his 407 split in the mile. That's something that I think he shocked himself and he shocked, he certainly shocked all of us. So hopefully he can do that again. I know he can, I know he has the talent, I know he's got the grit. I think he can go a few seconds faster too. So a lot of hope that we're gonna be able to do a really big thing this year and put down a really solid DMR time and maybe go for the school record in DMR. It's really nice to be able to compete with all those other D1 teams. We have a really talented squad. We're all able to do our jobs and run nice splits, especially Lucas, he really stepped up. So I ran the 400 meter leg, and it's a lot different than a regular race because you're actually on your own because everybody's so separated from each other. It's not just like a race right next to someone. So basically, I was just chasing the guy in front of me. I think that was Northeastern, which is a really talented team. So that was helpful to me to try and step up and just chase this guy as fast as, he co as I could. I was super excited to see that we're seventh in the nation. And I mean, I know we can all even do better than we did before with more training. So hopefully we can even go like top three, top five, like even number one, like just keep improving. I was really happy to get Rookie of the Week. All of our hard work's finally paying off. All those awful workouts every Tuesday. I'm feeling super sick in the gym and you just have to keep going. But yeah, I was really happy to get it. It was definitely a, a lot of pressure starting off the 4x4 four four at New England. Uh, it's just like a normal race at that point because there's no handoff. You just start in the blocks with the other guys. So I was just trying to put our team into the best position and then give um, Dan the baton and he ran really well. He split 49 something. She definitely motivated us a lot. Before we had ran the DMR, she just given us a quick like pep talk, like told us that we could do this. Like she wanted to see us at NCAAs and that's what we did. Again, I think it's a step in the right direction like it was the last time we got this award. Going into the building, we knew that this was gonna be an intense race. We had uh, a job that we wanted to accomplish and we had the mindset uh, that we needed to accomplish this. So um, we wanted to run, a, obviously the qualifying time is around 10.05. Uh, we wanted to break 10 minutes and we really just um, surpassed expectations by running uh, 9.51. Everyone really uh, raised the bar and, 
and did, um, like I said, ran better than their expectations. And I think that's because we're on a relay and it's more than just yourself. You're running for more than just yourself out there. You're running for um, your, uh, your three other teammates that are on the relay and you're running for your school as well. You're running um, for the whole program. So we had that mindset that uh, this was a huge event and we needed to take advantage of it because there aren't that many coming up. I think this is getting right back on track. We used to send a DMR to nationals every year. Uh, the last two years, it's been, um, I think, a case of some injuries. Lucas has been a key part of this DMR this year, uh, and he was injured the last two years. So to get him healthy um, really wraps it up, and uh, he's a great anchor leg. And uh, I think that's one of the reasons why we're succeeding this year. Obviously, you can see that he ran a seven, uh, 407, so a healthy Lucas is good. Right, so I switched from the 1200 leg to the 800 leg. It's a position that's more comfortable for me. Um, I know the my strengths and weaknesses in the 800 where I was a little bit newer in the 1200. I know ex how exactly to run an 800, especially in a relay if you're by yourself. So when I got the baton from Hampton, uh, he did a great job uh, keeping position, the position that Alex established. Hampton did a great job keeping that position. And once I got the baton, um, I really just, I just want to go out there and hammer it and uh, my first 200 was pretty fast but that's exactly how I wanted to go out uh, quick and just hold on as long as possible because like I said, um, it, it's, I was fighting for more than just myself in that relay so if I could go out and just think of um, the, the goals that we set um, and just getting myself out in the right position that those goals would carry me through to the end of the race. So going out pretty fast and just hanging on for dear life was my mindset. I was pumped to get Athlete of the Week. I think I had a really good weekend, probably one of the best weekends I've had here. Um, I doubled back well. My coach was happy, the team was happy, I was happy. So um, yeah, I'm just honored to receive Athlete of the Week. The DMR was on Friday and I knew I was running the mile the next day on Saturday. Um, I wasn't too nervous about doubling back. Usually, like, sometimes when I have a bad race, I'd prefer to, like, jump right back in the line, like, the next minute just to redo it because I don't want to sit on it for a whole nother week. So I wasn't nervous about doubling back in the mile the next day. I think, like, your body will recover overnight and you'll be fine. And it showed because I, I felt fine. I honestly felt better the second day, to be honest. Being injured freshman and half of my sophomore year, I just treat every race as if it's my last because it... I haven't raced as much as the other guys and like um, every opportunity is an opportunity for me to run really well because I have to make up for it since I miss so much. So yeah, I just look at it that way and um, just try and turn the negative into positive by running good times. So the goal with that me and coach have been working on is just getting in my head what 31 feels like and just getting comfortable running that and then trying to close sub 30s for like the last two laps or the last lap at least. Um, and the past few races, I've, been, I've just zoned out and pretending like I'm right in practice, just hitting 31s, hitting 31s. Um, my splits this weekend were pretty good. Um, I think the f first lap of the DMR went out super fast. I split like a 27, 28, um, but I didn't like let that bother me. I just got back into the zone, started hitting 30s, 31s. And then in my open mile, uh, I went out in a 31, which was perfect, and then I just kept hitting 30s, 31s, 32s, and then um, I tried to close fast. So I think what we've been working on in practice has definitely helped me out a lot and um, kind of changed the way how I race now. And I don't get like too much in my head, I just try and zone out and focus on what coach is yelling every lap, like what my split is.